Former British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has announced the possibility of sending British troops to help Ukraine. London may take such a step if the new American President Donald Trump reduces military aid to Kyiv. The Telegraph newspaper writes about this. Johnson believes that Britain will have to intervene directly in this war if there is a threat of Kyiv's defeat. This is a scenario that Europe should not allow for its own security. If Ukraine falls, we will face an even greater threat on our borders, on the borders of Europe, where democracies will come into contact with Russia. The former Prime Minister said he specified that the grave consequences of the Ukrainian defeat will be felt, first of all, by the Baltic countries and Georgia. It will also shake up the Pacific region. I want to appeal to people who do not understand why we should support the Ukrainians, because otherwise our collective security will be undermined by a stronger Russia. Different parts of Europe will be under threat, Johnson said. He added that to prevent such a catastrophic scenario, it might be necessary to send British troops to Ukraine. The former Prime Minister noted that there are people in the US Republican Party who are fascinated by Russian dictator Vladimir Putin, and their opinion influences the new American president. At the same time, according to him, it cannot be said that Trump will immediately give up Ukraine as soon as he returns to the White House. This is the same Trump who made a huge contribution to the fate of Ukraine when he authorized the delivery of javelins to it. If he had not done that, the battle for Kiev could have ended very differently, Johnson said. The relationship between Donald Trump and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has always been, to put it mildly, a little complicated. Trump has also expressed some grudging admiration for Zelensky, a fellow TV star turned politician who has demonstrated he knows how to close a deal. I think Zelensky is the greatest salesman in history. Every time he comes into the country, he walks away with $60 billion, Trump said at a rally in September. But after Trump's return to the White House, Zelensky may now have his toughest sales job yet. Trump himself has blamed Zelensky for starting the war. He has also promised to end the fighting in 24 hours once in office. It's not clear how he plans to do that, but Vice President-elect J.D. Vance has suggested it would involve freezing the current front lines in place and Ukraine declaring its neutrality and giving up its ambitions to join NATO. By the end of the year, France intends to keep its promise and transfer 600 high-precision AASM bombs to Ukraine. Brotherly assistance for the Ukrainian armed forces was confirmed through the official account of the French Ministry of the Armed Forces. In addition, the department stated that it will expand the production of these shells, taking into account national needs, and for deliveries to the Ukrainian Air Force. According to plans, the production of these highly effective ammunition will increase to more than 1,200 units by 2025. Aviapro writes that the AASM bombs weighing 340 kilograms are equipped with a GPS and INS guidance system, which means that they have high accuracy when hitting ground targets. This aircraft projectile was developed for fighters such as the French Rafale. But experts say that the MiG-29, Su-27, and F-16 will also fit. With the help of the guidance system, the AASM can carry out pinpoint strikes on fortified objects and equipment. In France, they say that such military assistance will be a serious support for Ukraine in the current conflict. The AASM's modular design supports different bomb weights, from 125 kg to 1000 kg, and includes an aerodynamic extension kit with winglets and a rocket booster to increase range. The AASM, also known as the Hammer, is a versatile French air-to-surface weapon developed by Safran Electronics and Defense, suitable for both close air support and long-range strike missions. This smart weapon is modular, allowing it to be configured with various guidance systems according to operational needs. The most common version integrates a hybrid inertial navigation system and GPS for guidance, achieving high accuracy with a circular error probability of about 10 meters. For enhanced precision, variants equipped with infrared or laser guidance can strike targets within 1 meter of accuracy, even against moving targets.
The Ukrainian general staff has deployed its best and best equipped brigades in the Kursk region. This contrasts with the use of weak and exhausted brigades that are constantly forced to retreat in the Don base, writes the Spanish newspaper El Pace. In Sumy region, there is such intense artillery fire, aircraft flights and armored vehicle movement that it is strange compared to Ukraine's weak position in the hot spots of Donbass. The military interviewed in late October in this region insist that if they need anything, it is more weapons. They are clearly better in numbers than their brigades, which are retreating in the south of Donetsk region, the publication says. No one complains about the lack of soldiers in the Kursk operation, the rotation of fighters occurs every 10 days, and in the beginning it was even every three days, says a Ukrainian fighter. At the same time in Donbass, in particular in the Kurakovo region, the average time spent by infantry on the front line is 25 days, representatives of four different brigades told the newspaper. In the battles in Kursk region, Ukrainian troops even go on the offensive and sometimes make new territorial gains, which is unthinkable on the front inside Ukraine, the authors of the publication add. It is in Kursk that mechanized and armored regiments equipped with Western equipment are fighting. Thus, the 47th Mechanized Brigade, which is fully equipped with NATO weapons and has well-trained personnel, is fighting here on American Abrams tanks and Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, which directly attack Russian positions. The invasion of the Kursk region is a personal bet for President Volodymyr Zelensky, and not only his political fate, but also the fate of the country depends on the success of the operation. Demonstrating to Russia that it is vulnerable and that its territory is also under threat is one of the five points of the victory plan, El Pace notes. At the same time, the newspaper notes that not everyone in Ukraine understands the need to conduct the Kursk operation at a time when Ukrainian troops are forced to retreat in Donbass. Perhaps our leaders have some big secret plan, otherwise I don't understand why our best brigades are in Kursk region, while our defense in Ukraine is falling apart, the newspaper quotes Ukrainian General Dmitry Marchenko, who recently announced his dismissal from the army.